Today, I'm taking you to work with me for another extreme closet makeover. After seeing my last closet video, my client made a desperate call for help. She sent me this footage of her closet because she was feeling overwhelmed. Their closet had reached a point where she just didn't even know where to start. So, even though I'm not a professional closet installer, I came to the rescue. It's not uncommon for shared closet spaces to get like this. No judgment from me here. Busy lifestyles and rushing from one task to the next can have us tossing things everywhere and shoving items that don't have a home anywhere else into the closet. Meanwhile, we're still shopping and adding to the clutter. So the first step in a project like this is to stop. Set aside a designated amount of time to purge, design, and build a new organizational system that will make sense and work for our personal needs. My client was leaving town for a whole week, which gave the perfect opportunity for me to come over and get them off to a good organizational start. My team worked for about three to four hours each day until the family returned from their trip. And did I mention that this was going to be a surprise makeover for the client? They had absolutely no idea or input on what we were going to do. So keep watching. My team, consisting of my husband and my daughter, got to work, removing everything from the closet, including the racks. We sorted the clothes and shoes by category to see what kind of hangers and storage containers, as well as how many of each we would need. Now you'll see here in this clip that my client sent me that she had a large wardrobe cabinet in the corner of the closet that wasn't being used to its full potential. They were actually thinking about getting rid of it. So I got permission to repurpose it and I knew right away that this could be a focal point of this new closet space. So I got Mr. Incredible to move it over to its new location, the center of the room so that I could prepare to give it a new look and purpose. No, not yet. Over to, keep going, keep going, keep going. Stop. And I'll measure now from this point. It is about three feet. Three feet, eight inches. And come over this side. With drop cloths in place, the walls and the cabinet were prepped for a coat of fresh paint, which we would start on the next day. My client did have one request, and that was to make the colors of this new closet the same color scheme as their bedroom. So whenever the bars are hung at this length on a wall, it, it really is a lot of wasted space that's on the top of that shelf. These ceilings are eight feet ceilings, so we could divide that in half and um, we'll make better use of the space. While I worked on priming the cabinet, Savannah worked on cutting in the walls. We saved a lot of money by using the client's leftover paint from their bedroom project. The furniture in their bedroom has a metallic, pearl, or champagne-like finish on it, and the style of their furniture is as grand in scale with similar details as this cabinet. So I wanted to mimic the finish on this piece as closely as I could to match the other pieces of furniture that they have in their bedroom. For the base coat, I used the client's leftover wall paint, but for the top coat, I bought a quart size of this metallic champagne color from the Home Depot, and that did the trick. 
Going from a dark, rich cherry wood color to a light champagne color took several coats, even with primer. It's best to do one coat each day and allow it to dry overnight. And with all the details on this cabinet, I had to paint from all different angles. On her side, I was able to locate the studs in the wall and anchor the new closet bars to the cabinet. By using the studs and using solid wood, it makes for a very sturdy hold. Mr. Incredible was building two new dressers for the husband's side of the closet. We purchased the dressers from Target. And my lovely assistant, Savannah, was busy building two of these towers that we bought from the closet made section of the Home Depot. And we were going to use these on the wife's side of the closet. So we have both bars of clothes in for my client and we did a little bit of color coordinating, basically going from dark to light, or just matching light colors together. And as you can see at the top, we still have some space that we could add on later. There's about a foot and a half of space that's going from the top of this up to the ceiling. And to me, that's good storage space, especially if you have a lot of things. So. This is just basically some bones of this closet coming to, together. And like I said, if later we need to add a shelf at the top of this, we certainly have room to do that. And we can go all the way up to the ceiling with our storage. Okay, so today is the final day of this closet project for our client and um, I'm gonna show you around and let you see what we have so far but I wanted to mention a couple of things they only have one light in this closet and let me see if I can turn around and show you that light it's just a one little baby ceiling light and we know that uh, in closets you need a lot more light than just one little light I even changed it to a daylight light bulb and it still didn't make it the kind of brightness that I would want to be able to see all the colors of my clothes. So I'm going to recommend to the client several things that they're going to want to do maybe later when they have more time and have more budget. I'm going to recommend several of those things and I'll share those with you so that you can see and be inspired by those also. So the first thing that I'm going to recommend for sure is that the client get some shelves put on the sides of the big cabinet here because what that will do is that will give even more stacking space almost all the way up to the ceiling but rather than use it for cluttery things I would like to see them use it for decorative things and I have an idea that I want to share with you it's a DIY project I'm going to take these boxes home paint them, decorate them, and then I'll show you what we're gonna use them for. So let me flip the camera around and show you what I mean. And so for the lighting, since they only have that one little light in the center of the room, I'm going to recommend that they perhaps put some pot lights in, maybe a row of three on her side and a row of three on his side. And I would use this center light fixture as a beautiful chandelier especially with the large decorative piece that they have in the middle of the dressing room I think that that would anchor that piece really nice and glam up the space even more boutique chic style now you'll notice over here on his side I have already put in place some wall shelf hangers see that there they serve double duty. First of all, they are the rod holders for the closet rods. And also, this top piece is the ledge that would hold a shelf board. 
So I've already installed those so that he can add a shelf later on all the way across. And if we go all the way up to the ceiling, you'll notice that he has still about a little over a foot and a half of space. That's good storage space that is still available to him. And again, instead of putting things that look like clutter, I would use that space to store smaller items, maybe seasonal items that are not needed all the time so that you're not always up and down the step ladder. But put them in decorative, beautiful boxes so that as you pan around the entire dressing room, it always looks coordinated and everything always looks intentional and not like things have just been thrown into a closet. We want everything to be decorated, well organized and chic. Okay, so we emptied out all of the shoe boxes for my customer here and she has a lot of these different size boxes. And so what I plan to do is take the boot boxes, the much larger of the boxes, and use those to put her formal dresses in. Because when you have long gowns, there's really no need for them to take up so much of your closet space when you're not gonna be wearing them very often. So we'll take those formal gowns, we will wrap them in some tissue paper, and we will box them up much like we would if we had a wedding dress that we were storing. And I'm gonna paint these boxes in a beautiful blue color, an accent color that they already have in their bedroom. And I may even do something fancy like stripe the boxes. I think that would look really chic, sort of like boutique shopping boxes. And I think a pretty ribbon. If I connect the two boxes together with a really pretty ribbon, and put those up on the top shelves. Once we get some shelves installed up there, I think that would look really beautiful. This is one of my favorite features of this closet, these Amazon shoe boxes. Now these shoe boxes are stackable, they're clear, they're vented so that the shoes are still able to get some air and you know breathable space. My favorite feature about these boxes is that they have little doors. They open from the front. You do not have to try to lift up every shoe box in order to get to the ones that are here on the very bottom. And we have them color, we have our shoes kind of color coordinated so that, you know, it just makes everything look a little bit more organized and a little bit more uniform. Now these boxes on this side are a little bit larger size and I'm calling these her booty boxes because they fit her boots, the shoe boots. And those doors open from the bottom up. So it's just perfect. I've used these same size shoe boxes on his side because they will fit up to an average man size 11 shoe. So the regular shoe boxes go up to a woman size nine or 10. And these boxes that I'm using for her shoe boots go up to a man size 11. So these are wonderful. And you can stack them pretty much all the way up to the ceiling if you wanted to. Um, you would have to use a step ladder, but at least you don't have to take all the boxes apart in order to get to the ones on the bottom. That's my favorite feature. I picked up these closet towers from Home Depot and I'm using them to store her purses and handbags and some evening clutches. They also serve double duty so that we can use them to connect the closet rods. So the rods go from tower to tower and we're not having to put a whole lot of holes in the walls. And since the two towers are the same height, we could easily put a shelf across the top there as well. And I like the idea of a shelf being uniform, the same height all the way around the room. But 
her side of the closet, the towers are a little bit higher. Now, if that's really important to them, to have everything the same distance from the ceiling, what I'm gonna to recommend to the customer is, he can just get out his saw and take off a few inches from the bottom of each of these towers. The towers come in two pieces. That's the way that they come in the box. But if he just takes them apart, shaves off a little bit from the bottom, that could give him a uniform look all the way across the ceiling. And he's handy like that. I mean, he could, he could do all the carpentry work. Basically what I'm doing for them is giving them the bones or the design of the closet, something for them to get started with, and he can add on all of these additional features later. Now I wanna show you, I was talking about giving them the bones of the closet. Eventually, the goal is to have a completely custom closet put in, similar to the closet made systems that you would find in um, the high end stores or websites. They have walls that they would box in. So here's what the customer could do if he's going to eventually convert to that type of a system. I put in these floating um, shelf rods. All he would have to do is take down this existing cross rod. After this is down, he could put a wall starting from the edge of this dresser that we installed. Build a wall straight up. He could also put a wall in between here, straight up. See? And then another wall. He could right over here if he wanted to. And then use the rods to connect from wall to wall as opposed to the way that I have it right now. It's coming from the back wall and it's free hanging, but these rods will then be connected to the walls that he puts in or that he builds. And that's gonna give them that built-in custom look. Another small organizing detail that is often overlooked is the way that the pants are hung. In order for it to look neater, Use this tip. Turn all of the pants in the same direction so that the crotch portion of the pants, the pointy edge, is actually facing the back of the wall. All of your straight edges of your slacks or your pants or your jeans are all facing the front direction. You can see she's working on that right now. It looks so much nicer and neater and uniform. And she has also taken the time to kind of color coordinate, put all of the darkest color pants together and move to the lightest. So you also see that we have all of the slacks on the same kind of hanger. Actually, all of his clothes are on the heavy wooden hangers. And that makes your closet look nice and neat and more uniform. For, for her side of the closet, we have all of the hangers on the velvet hangers. These particular hangers are slim and they make you have a lot more space for hanging in your closet. They are no slip, so it's great for silk blouses and camisole tops. And as you can see, we still have a lot more hanging space that we can utilize. Men's dress shoes and tennis shoes are not cheap, so I wanted to give him a better way to store, care for, and organize his shoes so they wouldn't be stacked one on top of the other like this. Sometimes in our master closets, one of the walls has to be used as a utility wall. And we can see here that the cable, internet, and phone connections are here, as well as a fire extinguisher. The client plans to relocate these things later, but for now, we'll just work around them. I have this wall painted the same accent blue that they have in their bedroom, just for that extra pop of color. And this one wall, as you're leaving the closet, I striped it to tie in all the colors together. This will be a great place for a full-length mirror and a champagne frame.
much better. With this type of storage, his shoes can be stored one right next to the other. The client already had these carousel hangers to display and access his ties. This is a great storage solution. On her side, we have hanging space for long dresses, shirts and blouses on the top, as well as pants and skirts on the bottom. And then we have all of her shoes, shoe boots, and long boots tucked in the corner, stacked nice and neat, and can reach all the way up to the ceiling if needed. These extra large boot boxes from Amazon is another great solution for storing your tall riding boots. Just be sure to keep your boot forms. I found this adorable storage ottoman from Amazon. It's in the coordinating colors of their bedroom and their closet, and it's a great place to sit down, put your shoes on, and have some additional storage as well. Here's a better look at the champagne paint finish on the cabinet. And here's a final reveal of the space. So what do you think, YouTube family? Did we get them off to a good start to a custom closet? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to press the thumbs up button if you are inspired. This closet is the size of a small bedroom, so they have plenty of space for a center island that the husband can build himself. And it would be great storage for jewelry, watches, sunglasses, scarves, and other smaller accessories. And ooh, can you just imagine it with a glass top and some accent lighting? Yes, our closets can be a place that we enjoy going to every day, just like having our own little boutique. The homeowner plans to make these updates and suggestions, so as they do, I'll be sure to share the pics with you and keep you posted. That's right, mission accomplished. I'm excited to report that our clients absolutely love their new closet and they were totally surprised at all of the things that we did. They're also excited about getting started with those new projects. Come back and visit me again next week. I post new videos every week on lifestyle, entertaining at home, decorating and organization. I'm Steph Storm and you'll see me next time.